Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And today we're going to visit the Vantage Plane Plastics. When you're opening the box and you're taking everything out, yeah, you're finding plastic. Yes, you're finding packing paper. But believe it or not, there are instructions in there. There is a guide in there as well as an inventory list of what they sent. And believe it or not, we ordered our plastic and we initially thought we were missing a piece. And we contacted Tanya at Vantage Plane Plastics and let her know. Then we went back with three people and we did a customized inventory and we found the missing piece. We had missed it the first time. We called her back and let her know. So when you order your plastic, you're going to get some instructions and a lot of plastic to work with. So stay tuned for our fun. We would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. So now you've unpacked the box and you've got your instructions in hand and you're looking at this inventory of all the plastic that you have and you go, hmm, what am I going to do with it? More specifically, <clears throat> what kind of tools am I going to use to adjust it and fit it? You know, you read the instructions, they talk about how their plastic is a very close fit. We'll need some adjusting. Well, there is a tool set that they put in the paperwork, but let's take a real quick look at the paperwork real quick as it goes by from the PDF file. Here it comes. So as you can see from the instructions, they recommend an inventory. They talk about basic fit and form and the tools. And so now let's look at some of the tools. Plastic work. We did this video back in January 23rd of 2017, so over four years ago, and it only had a couple of hundred views. So we thought we'd go back and revisit it, re-edit it, give you some more information, and let you see it again. Please enjoy. Showing how to cut this line. You won't be using a dribble tool or a razor knife. What we'll be using is a tool that we're going to cut at a 45 degree angle this line. We're going to free this piece from the plastic. The tool that we're using from Harbor Freight is nothing more than a high speed uh, angle head grinder. And on it, we have a roll lock pad that is not a roll lock, but it's actually a 36 grit sandpaper. It's fairly coarse, and that's what you want. Now, we're going to throw out a lot of plastic here. We're going to make a lot of noise, but this is what we're going to use to very rapidly go ahead and, um, and ease that plastic out of it. So basically, all we're doing is we're taking compressed air, and we find the line, and then at 45 degrees, we cut. Thank you. 
Now we come back with a second pass, moving on the plastic. Or you can take a razor knife and just cut it out. Wasn't that quick and easy, especially at eight times normal speed, but it's just a simple process. Take your time and have fun. And there you go. One piece of plastic freed out of your canopy layer. Now, this is only the first very rough cut. There will be a lot more trimming needs to go. Uh, you'll want to come back here with some sandpaper on a fairly long board and get a nice flat straight edge to keep in mind. This is where we're going to put window trim that's going to push right up against the canopy glass. We want a nice clean installation. But that's how you can very rapidly take a piece of plastic out and get your plastic ready for installing the canopy. We hope you've enjoyed this. As always, more videos on maintenance with GPA. And so here's the list of suggested tools, and we'll go through them one by one. First, we have a double cross cut router bit. That'll free up a lot of chips. Then we have saw blades in case you need to cut the plastic, don't crack it. Then you get a half inch drum sander. This will be for final, final cut and a face shield to protect your eyes. Not a brainer there. And of course, I'm going to skip and go ahead with the three file pack. Just go buy all the files you need from Harbor Freight for about eight bucks and you're good to go on those tools. Now, the other ones are a bit more complicated, the metal deburring tools, but that's just a swivel tool. Again, it's available from um, Aircraft Spruce. Then you have the hole saws for cutting in metal. You can also cut in plastic with them. Then you need a pencil, some way to mark what you're doing, a tape measure so that you can measure what you're doing, and then you can get some general drill bits, a small set for working with plastic because you'll start small and work your way up to final size. And then you'll need to get a Phillips screwdriver because that's going to match the screws you're going to be putting the plastic in with. As always, a Dremel tool for trimming as well as the die grinder that I showed earlier. Since the way the plastic is formed, this is really my go-to tool here, the die grinder and the number 36 grit. You get a lot of discs because you're going to wear them out. But it does free up the plastic very quickly. And then you have all the other tools that you might need to go ahead to put the plastic in as provided by Vantage. So, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you found all this information about working with your plastic useful and informative. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day flying your Grumman. Let me apologize for the lighting because a lot of times I don't have time to go turn on a light when I want to film them playing with paper on the floor or wrestling with each other. A lot of times it happens in the wee hours of the night and I just can't throw enough light on there. So please accept my apology and enjoy their antics and their fun. Thank you.